Memorial Day recognizes those who gave the ultimate sacrifice. Around the nation, people gathered in churches and cemeteries to pay their respects and honor those fallen heroes. In Bemidji, it was through the annual Memorial Day program that those brave men and women were remembered. And the home of the brave. People young and old gathered at Bemidji's Greenwood Cemetery to honor those brave men and women who risked it all for their country. The annual ceremony is one way. The Ralph Gracie Post of the American Legion hoped to remind everyone of the sacrifices that were made. We want to make sure that we provide a legacy for those people and what they did so that our legacy is is carried forward so that it's not lost in future events. For members of the Bemidji High School JROTC, being part of the program that honors so many American heroes over the course of history is a humbling experience. It's definitely like humbling and just really making you realize that they really gave everything so we could be have our freedom. To know and fully understand the magnitude of what Memorial Day is about is something that even today's youth think should start at a young age. We, I think it should be started like when they're really little. Just be really making sure that they understand what these shoulders are giving ultimately. It was said during the program that at a time when our nation seems divided, the importance to remember and honor those who gave their life should be in the forefront and put aside any of our nation's differences. Without these kinds of events, um, inclusiveness is probably hard to get. Um, you hit the nail on the head. But I would hope that people would put those kind of things aside and just remember and, and realize what we're here for and don't forget those guys that came before us. That theme is echoed across the cemetery where American flags mark the final resting place of a person who helped lay the foundation of America. Each grave representing a different story of the sacrifices made for the love of their country. After the Memorial Day ceremony, members of Post 14 welcomed the public to their new space at Lazy Jack's for a light lunch and program. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.